The great city of London holds many secrets, drenched in ancient structures and often bustling with their still surviving ancient societies. It is a place where one can become lost in a vivid, rich, and well-documented history. However, some of the most interesting ancient stories attached to the city are often overlooked. And at 111 Cannon Street is an excellent example of this. Placed within a conspicuous box at the base of the building is what is known as the London Stone. Made from oolitic limestone, what is interesting regarding the London Stone is firstly its found location, the fact that it was buried some 18 feet under the ground, and also the possible past importance of the stone, stretching far back into forgotten history. Once shown in this position on the copper plate map of London dating to the 1550s and the woodcut map of the 1560s, the memory of its past importance, however, seems to have gradually faded over the centuries. It was described by the London historian John Stowe in 1598 as a great stone called London Stone, fixed in the ground very deep, fastened with bars of iron. The earliest reference he found was in a list of properties belonging to Christ Church. The list was within a gospel book given to the cathedral by Ethelstane, King of the West Saxons, dating as far back as 924. And although now having a mysterious origin, London Stone was still a very well-known landmark within medieval London. In 1450, Jack Cade entered the city with his men striking the London Stone with his sword and claiming he was now lord of this city. Why did such a plain-looking stone at this specific location once hold such standing and importance within ancient Britain? By the turn of the 21st century, most of the stone's earliest history had been forgotten. However, in the 1960s, archaeologists began to realize the significance of its positioning linking it to an alignment with many once existing Roman buildings. Additionally, and strongly linking it to an extremely ancient relic, London Stone has been identified as a mark stone, and like many other Neolithically claimed structures, centered upon several ley lines passing through central London, now believed to have been an essential element in London's original sacred geometry. After substantial research, Numerous individuals have come up with a controversial history regarding the London Stone, now believing that the stone could, in fact, be the final surviving remnant of an ancient inhabitancy of London, possibly pre-Ice Age, far before the city we see today was ever in existence, and may actually be the only remaining surviving block from the ruin of this original city. How old is the London Stone? Was it really a part of a lost civilization city? A place we call London? We find the evidence to suggest such highly compelling.